Okay, this is take two. This is called Dude Clam here. Again, recording this again. Last time I tried to do this, I did a direct upload and the stupid thing cut off halfway through without me even, without even looking like it had been cut off, so it looked like it was still recording, but in fact it wasn't. But anyway, this is a little amplifier which I'm working on. As you can see, the circuit is pretty simple. It only uses two transistors. This is a push-pull NPN PNP arrangement. Now, pay no attention to these um, writing on here. That's what that was for a previous experiment, which is which is on the other computer, but I cannot transfer it because I've lost my USB flash drive. So I cannot transfer it onto this computer here, which I use for my uploading. So yeah. Anyway, ranting on, so let's just get on with this. Now, this transistor is a BD139, which is an NPN, and this one's BD140, which is PNP. And this is a, um, does work as an amplifier. Now, I've got two PP3 9 volt batteries there, which um, provide the power for it. Obviously, split rail power, that's why I've used two batteries provide this with about 18 volts. So now I'm just going to turn it on. And it's connected up to my record player preamp, which you can see in that nest of wires over there. So let's play the record and hear how it sounds. much prefer Isaac Hayes singing that song, but anyway, um, yeah, as you hear, it's not very loud, um, for some reason it has a very low input impedance, okay, I now have it connected to my cassette deck, and, um, when I press play, you can see, you can see the left is not registering as much as the right, that's not because of the tape, if I put this to, if I turn the output level of this right down, you can see the levels resume to normal, but when I turn the output up, so I'm not sure why it has, um, seems to have such a low input impedance, it only seems to have it when I have the batteries connected. If I disconnect the batteries, you can hear that sound is quite distorted now because only one transistor is amplifying now it's the PNP that's amplifying at the moment and it's only amplifying one half of the, um, the negative half of the sound now if both transistors, I mean both batteries disconnected you can see that the levels are pretty normal pretty much what you'd expect from the tape and this is the schematic. You can see it's very simple. It's not overly complicated like um, some of those others that you've seen. It is my own design. I did not get this out of a book or um, the internet or anything like this. I did actually des design this and build this myself. Okay, I don't know how well you can see that, but I've now disconnected the two in resistors um, in the schematic so these two resistors here I've disconnected those and um, play the tape it's still pretty much the same so I don't think it's those two resistors that are the problem doesn't even seem to have any effect on the transistor's bias voltage. They're both being biased at around 650 millivolts. I prefer 700 millivolts, but that's about the best I can get with this current configuration. 
So anyway, I'm going to try some more experiments now. Okay, now I've made a little bit of a modification to it. I've added this transistor here to the input, so that it will now boost the signal that these two transistors are getting. And it should also stop the problem with the um, low impedance input thing that it was having. I'm also powering that booster transistor from a separate battery so it doesn't oscillate or um, have one battery working harder than the other. So now I'm going to connect up the two main batteries. This one is already connected. If I can, of course. Now it is still connected up to the cassette deck. Let's just play it. Okay, we're getting good volume levels. Now let's um, turn up the volume control that's been put in there by putting more. But it's certainly louder. Well, certainly louder, but um, sounds pretty clipped. I think that might just be because um, these two batteries are just not cannot provide enough current, but, um, or it could be clipping here. It could be clipping here. I've absolutely no idea as yet. I'll have to work um figure that out later. I now have it connected up to the record player, and I've also changed the volume control because I was using a one mega ohm one, so now I'm using a one kilo ohm one for the volume control. Now, play the record player again, just to see how it sounds. And you can turn this to adjust the volume. I don't know why, but if I, if I turn the volume up too far, I make some mysterious clicking noises. I'm not sure why it's doing that, but um, I'm pretty sure the distortion is um, here. It could be because there's um, these batteries aren't giving out enough voltage. It could be there's not enough bias. Because they're both being biased at about six, um, 650 millivolts. I don't know if I already said that, but anyway. So I'm not sure why it doesn't work as good as I thought it would, but at least it does work. At least it's something I've made that does work. And, um, well, that's just about it. Because I'm, I'm going to lose my train of thoughts again any minute now, so I'm going to go. And here's the schematic of it with the um, booster transistor which is right there. So, like I said before, I'm not sure why it makes those um, strange clicking noises when you turn the volume up. Like I said, the, um, the distortion is at this part of the amplifier here, the power stage. Um, I'm not sure if that's because of the voltage or the bias, but um, Anyway, that's just about it, so until next time, goodbye.